I'm reporting in today on June the 2nd from beautiful Prague, the capital of the Czech Republic, from the historic Hotel Yalta. And in front of me is the general manager, Jan Adamek, who uh, will tell me some really interesting stories about this hotel. First and foremost, we've got a unique feature, a picture or painting of Franz Kafka, the famous uh, Czech uh, writer. Please tell me the story of the painting. Franz Kafka is a very famous Czech Jewish uh, writer. Mm -hmm. He was writing in German language, as far as I know, mm -hmm. and we very much like him, the owners of the hotel. He used to work in the next door building, and uh, when we got a chance to buy uh, the original painting of Andy Warhol in an auction in London, we decided to do so and make it as the most important feature of the lobby of the Hotel Yalta. Mm -hmm. So this is how it appeared. It's a, it's a uh, painting from Andy Warhol. There exist only four paintings like that on, mm -hmm. on the world. Mm -hmm. and it was made in 1980. 1980, and it's an original by Andy Warhol. It is Warhol. an original, yes, Amazing. absolutely. That's, and you got it at a Sotheby's auction Yes, uh, in London, in that's Sotheby's great. Auction. Now, Hotel Yalta is a very interesting property because it dates back to 1958, so you just celebrated your 50th anniversary last year. Yes. Big renovation over the last few years, quite an investment. I think you invested more than 3 million euros. Uh, exactly, 3.5 million euros. Uh -huh. And also renovated the facade, everything out, outside is brand yes. new again. Absolutely. And But there are some other historical features that I just found out that I found really fascinating. Please tell me about what's hidden below us. Uh, I must say first of all that this hotel is very special because it was built up on the request of the socialistic government. The reconstruction started in 1954 mm -hmm. and it should have taken just two years but it was ended up by uh, 1st June 1958. Okay, uh, so this is like now exactly 51 years old because it's it June is, 2nd today. It is uh, 51 years old, yeah, exactly. exactly yeah. And uh, we had last year celebration of 50 years mm -hmm. and we were offering 50% discount for anybody who was celebrating anything that was 50. Okay. 50 years anniversary, right. or 50th birthday or whatever. What a great idea. Uh, the hotel was built not only as a hotel mm -hmm. uh, to be a pearl a diamond of the socialistic region mm -hmm. uh, in order to show the, the Americans uh, how good can socialistic can be as well. Mm -hmm. But we also have an anti-atomic protective bunker in the cellar. Okay, the a nuclear place. bunker you have. Exactly. Wow. With a hospital, uh -huh. with a big chunk of water. In case that something happened, the mm -hmm. president of Czechoslo Czechoslovak Socialist Republic mm -hmm. and even the presidents from the other countries or the bosses of the Communist Party, whoever, mm -hmm. important in these days, mm -hmm. they would also be, they would all be hidden in, in our property. In the bunker. We have a, it is on two floors, basically. Mm -hmm. There's a hospital uh, with two operation rooms. Mm -hmm. uh, there are then other rooms for, for uh, accommodation. Mm -hmm. Then there's the other part that was for secretaries and uh, all of that stuff. Big bathrooms. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a fantastic ventilation that works still today. Mm -hmm. And uh, altogether there would fit about 200 people, mm -hmm. which is unbelievable. And we think according to the size of the rooms, that there would be food ready and uh, drinks ready for like about a month. Complete emergency preparedness. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And this is so so funny and so special. Mm -hmm. I didn't tell you that there are escapes. Uh -huh. And there are four escapes, which two of them are going to the uh, pavement of Wenceslas Square. Today oh, really? we cannot find where it, it is exactly because uh -huh. it doesn't exist anymore on the Wenceslas Square. Mm -hmm. But we still do have the big metal doors, very heavy, extremely heavy, yeah. through which you know the presidents and these uh, important people could get through. So this is a true memento of the Cold War period. Uh, yes, it is, and not uh, not only that, it's mm -hmm. uh, the architectural features of the hotel are really unique. Uh -huh. We are there exist in the whole Europe just two buildings mm -hmm. like ours. We are very uh, strongly protected by Heritage Office, okay, uh, because they call it socialistic diagonal style. Oh, really? It has a name. It's very complicated, uh -huh. and uh, it's part of Sorello, uh -huh. uh, the, the famous Russian. 
uh, influenced style of architecture. Mm -hmm. But what's really interesting is that the hotel was built in 19, finished in 1958. Mm -hmm. And it was finished by people like carpenters uh, and the others who still had great skills from the capitalism era mm -hmm. of Czech Republic. And so everything was custom made, every single room, every single sink even. Really? Every, everything was custom made, mm -hmm. especially made for this hotel. Fantastic quality, mm -hmm. great design. And I must say that many of these things we have here today are still okay. With the hotel is like up to date. It's, yes. It's yeah, unbelievable that after 51 years mm -hmm. we can use it. Everybody's happy here. Everything works very well. Yeah. Now, what was interesting also, I think at the time when the Hotel Yalta was opened, it was called the Pearl of Prague, and it was, of course, geared towards foreigners, wealthy foreigners, probably statesmen, politicians, leaders of countries. Now, but you could not have a private conversation in this hotel, right? Well, you could, but then everybody would knew about exactly, it. Exactly. Basically, yeah. the, at these times, the hotel had about 72 guest rooms. Uh -huh. And every, in, in one room, there were some, I don't know, American journalists or American German uh, businessmen, etc. Mm -hmm. And in both rooms next to this room, mm -hmm. there were socialistic secret intelligence officers listening, listening calling, yeah. what's happening in the other room. So every room was bugged. Every room was bugged. You better not tell any secrets at the Hotel Yalta in 1958. Exactly. <laughs> okay. And it lasted till the revolution, really. So yeah. it was even after the ages after the revolution, uh -huh. we found a microphone, very small, tiny microphone behind the window in one of the guest rooms. You're so kidding. So it was really... Be very seriously, very serious. yeah. yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Adamek. I really I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Susan. Thank you.